All right, here we are again with some more home safety hotline. Where we are going to get customer calls and see what spooky dukes they're dealing with. I don't know how to do an intro. <laughs> Very spoopy dupes. Oh, wait, science mysteries? What kind of mysteries do we have? This looks like, let me tell you what this looks like. I'm sorry to pause the video, but uh, this looks like those old, like, discovery shows. Like, uh, what is it? Like, I something? There was, like, an I, and it was, like, the intro with the bird flying and stuff. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know. But, like, you'd watch it in, like, art class or, like, like uh, science, and it would, like, tell you all about, like, some historical thing or, like, art or something. It looks like that, that 90s... CGI, brother. Mystery of mice? What's so mysterious about them? Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the Black Plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. This is a mus musculus, otherwise known as the common house mouse. House mouse. And this is mus musculus loquentis, otherwise known as the smart mouse. A the, newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris, and more importantly, its increased intelligence. Oh, that's us. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, Modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the smart mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. Okay. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. All those what squeaks. Do you think? Oh, sorry. Is this a wonder of evolution? Or are we just hearing things that aren't there? Do mice and men have more in common than previously thought? Well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. <laughs> a science mystery. It's like an episode of Ancient Aliens, dude. I like how the mouse squeaked for like a solid like 10 to 15 seconds and all it said was help me. <laughs> All right, what's in the mailbox? Introducing our new office pet. Ah, hello, home safety hotline family. We're excited to introduce you all to a brand new office pet, Whiskers. You could have been a little more original. Uh, Whiskers is loyal, friendly, and uh, is as serious as pe about pest control as we are. Please give Whiskers a warm welcome if you see him wander by your desk. Please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers, as he is still getting to know everyone in the office and is scheduled uh, and has scheduled feeding times. Sincerely, H S H Corporate. Okay, Corporate. I don't like Whiskers. I don't like. Okay, hot take. I'm not a cat person. Okay, I'm not a cat person. I okay. They're they're cool. I'm more of a dog person. Cause it's like, do you want? An animal that's like self-sufficient and uh like can kind of like just do their own thing i guess or do you want an animal that's like your buddy you know anyway i can't talk any anymore about cats I'm, I'm on business hours so it's back to the grindstone you know you you get out what you what you put in hello Carol here again. Mm -hmm. I've been watching the closely employee. Uh-huh. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. 
I have once again updated your permission so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest upon me. What? Why are you talking like you're in, like, 1700s England? Dude, I hate Carol. Seedling. Seedlings are small insectoid creatures about the size of an aphid. Oh my god. I mean, hello? I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. Okay. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug. Just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we've mm. never had any problems until now. Yeah. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water. Yeah. So can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? Uh huh. I think I know Please hold. what you're talking about. So I've seen this once before. Uh, so I think it's it's a false beat. So let's see. Let's let's analyze chat. Um, they can cause digestive issues and potential uh back problems over the course of a human's lifetime. Um. False beets are creatures with a beet-like appearance, also known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eating them by disguising themselves among their vegetables. Sir, I'm sorry, but you got a, like a, you got a false beet, dude. It's it's like a beet, but it's not right. It's it's not true. It's false. Okay. Um, how you get rid of it? Uh, they only find themselves in gardens that grow beets. If you do not wish to contend with the false beets, it is advised to avoid growing beets. Yeah, you gotta stop eating beets. I will be completely honest here. I have never eaten a beet a day in my life, I think. Do they taste good? I think I've had radishes, but beets just were never my jam. I don't know. I, I I never looked at a beat and was like, mmm, yummy. Oh, what? That was quick. Hello? Pokemon? I followed every instruction your people sent me, but I'm still getting cracks on my wall. What? Uh, my daughter is called Pest Control. And she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Dude, she doesn't Goodbye. know what she's talking about. No, she doesn't know what she's talking about, dude. Oh my god, they have a bogger, dude. They have a bogger. They cuz that was the that was the the wall uh what was it called? The wall hob and they probably messed with it. They probably messed with it. Okay, what's the fey flu? Uh dangerous disease commonly spread by household fey. Hello. The police told me to call this number, so I uh hope I got the right number here. Anyway, uh, I think, I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've been sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send me. Please hold Okay, ma'am, the police should do their job and go out there and see what it is, but I'll do- I've never heard of this before, ma'am, I'm sorry. Definitely not bed teeth, those would be in your bed. What? What are bed teeth? You don't even want to know. What could be staring at her from outside? Uh oh, Faith Beast, never mind. What is the horde? What? Invisible odorless collective consciousness, consciousness that is known to collect and store large quantities of common household refuse? What? <laughs> a night gnome. Wait a second. Night gnomes are small hairy creatures with a pointed head. 
They are known for their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans and watch them while they sleep. Homeowners affected by night gnomes frequently report sightings in the middle of the night or heavy breathing sounds during late hours. Oh. Ma'am, you have a night gnome. I didn't know about this. I mean, I'm an expert. Don't get me wrong. But night gnomes are more of a, a new occurrence. But you should really... Uh, so, they'll move on to other homes uh, if they're bored, right? So, um, there's no guarantee, but uh, they will become bored of you and find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. If they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. So, I would recommend sleeping with maybe, like... A clown like clown makeup on amuse them a little bit I don't know how do you sufficiently sleep like like how do you entertainingly sleep that's creepy wait what do they sound like bro that's just me I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Uh -huh. Lately, we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality seems to have been drastically reduced. Okay. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Please hold. Okay, I can definitely get down to what your problem is. Um, let me see. The night gnome would get the stabby if he stared into my windows? Oh, what if you couldn't catch him? What if you couldn't stab him? he just run away. Attic gnomes are a subspecies of gnome known to nest in attics and ceilings. Report knocking a rapping sound coming there from the ceilings or a surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation systems. First it was Hobbs, now it's Gnomes. Dude, these Gnomes are a problem. I want to see a remake of Gremlins, but with, uh, with some Gnomes. To remove an attic gnome from the household is recommended to dust and clean your attics and ceilings regularly as to avoid getting, uh, giving it a source of food. So they also eat dust, just like the Hobbs. Okay, okay, well, you need to clean your, your attic, sir. You're just dealing with an attic gnome, okay? Clean your house. I think I think, I think think said sir, that might have been a lady. Who knows? Who knows? The, the, the picture wasn't good enough. I think any time before the 2000s, when you saw a picture of someone, you just kind of had to guess what they looked like. It was so blurry that you had to fill... Your mind had to fill in the blanks. <laughs> it was so grainy that, like, you, you saw, like... Oh, their eyes are, like, a bluish, greenish, brownish color. Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. These police no, suck. Please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. Uh... He's yeah, um, I know what happened. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to calm him down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, calm down. Hey, 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 I know, I know. Please, 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 okay. you can help. All right, Bye, okay, now. okay, okay, please okay, please hold. Uh, ma'am... I know exactly what you're going through. I have a lot of sympathy for you. We'll find little Jeremy, okay? But your problem is the false rosebush. Okay? The false rosebush, let me tell you, it's a little tricky. All right? So uh, it 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 looks like a rosebush, but in reality uh, they're like, they're a creature, okay, um, so, they take your children. Oh, wait, 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 homeowners without children or pets face, uh, 
a reduced risk risk as they cannot swallow whole anything larger than themselves. Oh my god, Jeremy got swallowed. To remove a false rosebush from the garden they have inhabited, it is advised to keep children or pets from venturing outside within hunting range for an extended period. If a false rosebush goes more than one month without eating, it will move on to its uh, to new territory on its own. Oh no, little Jeremy's gone. Oh, little Jeremy's in a, the digestive tract of a false rosebush. Ma'am, you're gonna, you, you're not gonna like this. Oh, you're not gonna like this at all. Um. Yeah. How do I break the news? Ma'am, he's dead. Jeremy's dead. Well, that went well. What does it sound like? Hello? Hi. I'm concerned somewhat mm -hmm. about the stability of my new home. Yeah. I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement um. that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. I haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Any legal advice? Sir, we're not a legal service. But what has been eating cheese? Unless it was just a mouse? Please hold. Is that just a mouse? Commonly report gnaw marks, small round droppings, and the sounds of squeaking. Sir, it's not a mouse. It's not a mouse. Um, travel gnome? Oh, it's in a suitcase. Okay, that's not even, like, remotely what we're working with here. Um, I think I read something the other day, right? It's a portal. Oh. Door shape openings? Discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars, homes with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and strong desire to enter. Okay. Okay. I mean, that doesn't sound too horrible. Night Wisp? Do mice even eat cheese outside of children's books? I don't think so. I find it best to use a, a mousetrap with, uh, with peanut butter on it. Um, night wisps are a sus uh, subspecies of wisp, uh, in the form of bright floating lights. Okay, so it's lights? <sighs> Whatever. Cellar growth. Wait a second. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not reporting residue. No, 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 no. Cellar grotto. Cellar grottos are large cave-like networks. Okay, this isn't... Oh my goodness, what is eating your cheese, sir? I don't know about the cheese, sir. The cheese stumps me. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. The fracture hob can cause cracks in the walls. The solution, they cannot be removed once they nest. To prevent further damage, measures to prevent metamorphosis should be taken as soon as possible. It is advised to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese each night before going to bed. The previous owner got got by the metamorphized fracture hob. It's a fracture hob, sir. Oh, wait a second. That means it's a bogger? No, no, it's a fracture hob. Okay. Dude. Hey, sir, you have a fracture hob. Leave out some cheese, you'll be fine. Just keep the cheese there, sir. Keep the cheese there. I cannot stress that enough, sir. Okay. So, we're pretty well... We're well versed in our little... Cryptid, um, dictionary. 
So I think this next call is going to be a breeze, man. It's going to be a breeze. Oh, oh, there's somebody on the line. Oh, what the? Hey, Rubber here. I need to place an order of 60 gallons of orange drink here. I got a big old party I'm setting up here at the studio, and we're going to need that orange drink to uh, too many mouths to feed. Excuse me? I'm sorry? Sir, don't call again ever, please. And also, disconnect your phone line. I don't want anybody to ever go through that again. <laughs> What about that pepper squeeze? He's weird. Yeah, he is weird. <laughs> that pepper squeeze. <laughs> Bro wanted a pepper squeeze. Oh. What's that noise? Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why. He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so... Here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches. Yeah. And just barely, I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. Okay. I'm really freaked out right now, and I'm not sure what I have. I can't find anything mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. Can you help me? Okay. Yeah, I definitely can help you. How old? I can definitely help you. So what you have is like a, it's a disease. It's like a, it's a flu of some sort. So what I'm going to say, um, Fey flu. So I think you have the Fey flu. Um, I'm going to say you have the Fey flu because I'm pretty sure a pipe hop is not inhabiting his nose. <laughs> I think the Fae Flu is, is what it is, though. Because the Unicorn Fun guy would be very noticeable. So... Let's go with the Fae Flu. He, he probably had a Fae Feast. And so he got the Fae Flu. Sir, keep away from the Fae Feasts if you don't want the Fae Flu. So now get, get off the Fae phone line. All right, sir. Bro, all my information's gone. They robbed me. How am I supposed to do my work proficiently? Oh my goodness. Hello? Oh, Jeremy, I remember. Thank you for calling just to do that, ma'am. My ears hurt now. Inconsiderate people, man. Bro, she thought she could get on the phone and just scream in my ear, dude. Yeah, yeah, your, your son's gone. He's dead. Hello? Okay. I'm okay. freaking out over here. There's holes all over my freaking house, man. Oh. Freaking holes. Yeah. I'm stepping around big wooden splinters. There's no telling how much damage there is. I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes. To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. Gaping holes. Please one in the kitchen? It. Sir, just give me one second. Alright, now that he's off the phone, I have no clue what this is, chat. I have no clue what this is. Wait a second. Floor roots are tree-like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor and wrap themselves around various objects in... Or, uh... 
objects or humans in the vicinity. Floor roots grow slow enough that they serve very little danger to awake and aware adult humans. However, if not spotted quickly, they're known to strangle a strangling hazard to human children and pets while they sleep. Removal should be a pri priority. Um... Okay, never mind. I thought that might, like, make holes in the floor or something. But... Why, sir, why do you have holes everywhere? There's gotta either be, like, actual holes in his floor, or it's gonna have, like, a psychoactive effect on his, like, psyche. You know? So maybe he's dealing with something... Oh, unicorn fungi are a rare horn-shaped fungus that are known to grow on the heads of furry mammals and household pets. They often affect the animal's disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. Homeowners often report their pets furiously digging around or inside the home. Unicorn fungi are not directly harmful to humans, but they can often lead to household problems such as broken floorboards, uprooted plants, or waking up to things beneath the soil. I think this is it. Sir, I think your dog, unfortunately, got some unicorn fungi. Um, I'm not too sure. I could be very wrong on it, but if he got into a patch of some unicorn fungi, you, you might, your dog might be, uh, he might have died, sir. I don't know. <laughs> Just bathe your pet. Be a better pet owner, man. Be a better pet owner. Unicorn fungi, dude. The nerve of this guy, dude. He thinks he can just not bathe his dog. Me and Blair bathe our dogs every Sunday, so they smell good all the time. Except for Saturday. When Saturday comes around, they're like, they're, they're stinky. Hello? Alright, I'm gonna need someone to explain what in the name of Christmas is Jesus Christ, lady. Room. I'm back from vacation, Language. and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants looks like a gosh darn nursery in there what is happening is is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something please hold. i don't know what rugs have to do with soil everywhere but i think a seedling might be your problem oh bring indoor planters wait wait they're known for burrowing in outdoor planters or gardens feeding off the roots okay never mind but floor roots on the other hand sir ma'am sorry floor roots slow enough wait what no the floor roots aren't gonna be the problem dude i swear that sounds exactly just like unicorn fungi but she didn't mention a pet Travel gnome, wait a second. Travel gnomes are highly invasive subspecies of gnome that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travelers to introduce themselves to new households. They are found most commonly in forested areas around the globe. Uh, travel gnomes can be affected, can affect the household in various ways. Um, they create expansive gardens inside the new homes, leaving soil plants and common outdoor pests in their wake. I would have never thought travel gnome. Ma'am, it's just a, it's a typical case, okay, of a travel gnome. A what? A travel gnome, ma'am. It's no laughing matter. We'll be there in a second. Don't you worry, ma'am. We'll be there lickety split. It's, uh, it's almost time for me to, yeah, it's almost time for me to clock out, so uh, you're gonna have to deal with that. <clears throat> I have time for like one more call today, I think. I think I think I have time for one more call. Hmm. Oh, hello! You're my last call of the day. There's something. There's 
something in my basement. Mm. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my uh -huh. basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear yeah. it making all kinds of horrible noises. Okay. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please, yeah. send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. I understand, I understand. You want to calm down and stop complaining. So, my... In my expertise, with my bachelor's degree in cryptology here, uh, I can safely say that you're dealing with a, uh, what is it, a cellar growth. Okay? Let's see, damp environments such as cellars, homeowners, cellar growths, uh, slimy residue, the sound of dripping or scratching, a strange gallows, glows coming from the cellar. Actually, wait, that's not, it doesn't have a, a bad smell, but a cellar grotto... A bad smell coming from the basement, higher humidity in the home, and a notable increase in large beetles, frogs, and and related pests. So you got a grotto in your cellar. I think you need to get rid of that. You need to get like a demolition team in there. Get that taken care of, sir. Have a good day. Yep. Alright, that was the last call of the day, I think. I think we're all good. Oh yeah, 88.8%, I'll take it. That's my metric. I need to be at least 50% correct. But I'm 100% correct. I'm 50% I'm, I'm correct 100% of the time. <laughs> and on that, I think we are on to another day. I hope you enjoyed the video. Those of you on YouTube, my peeps on YouTube, uh, I gotta give you guys some love. I always talk to these guys over here and I need, I, I, I wanna say, hey, I wanna give some love to you guys. Anyway, but if you like the content, uh, leave a like, subscribe, do all that stuff uh, and chat it up in the comments. So I'll catch you next time. Peace.